All people of LA have witnessed the different types of injustices between different communities, whether that be those facing homelessness, poverty, or even racism. I am someone who faces environmental racism and injustice. The injustices of Wilmington, such as the water pollution and air pollution, has inspired me towards improving the environmental sustainability. My name is Noemi Hernandez, and I am an environmentalist. Imagine lost Angeles air hot summer noontime Los Angeles air being aware of the millions of toxins within it. This is my harsh reality. Wilmington faces an unhealthy amount of air pollution. My community is dense, with the hosting five refineries, and with that, you'll find schools such as mine placed right alongside them that are constantly releasing toxins. So why do I take this personally? Wilmington is not only my home, but it is a home to thousands of other people of color, mainly Hispanics, who look for cheap housing regardless of the consequences. So what could I do to not just help me, but also my family and my community? I have, to, I have to contribute myself. I have to educate, I have to take action, and I have to dedicate myself. So I began with educating. Starting with my advisory class, we began the semester with teaching everyone on school campus about sustainability and letting everyone know about opportunities, especially those offered by the Boys and Girls Club. In Keystone Leadership Group in the Boys and Girls Club, we spent Earth Week educating children and even opening up a public community garden for students to volunteer and learn sustainability. I took time during my summer to volunteer at the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium to teach younger generations of how, about water pollution, pollutants, and how easily each one of us as an individual could make a difference. Then I took action by creating the Environmental and Justice Service Project as a part of CFAA, the purpose of impacting the greater Los Angeles community. This meant leading a letter writing campaign to elected officials in hopes to make in hopes for an action in response. Then I realized that my passion for the environment doesn't have to stop here. Not only to stop the suffering of my life, but also the suffering of the community that raised me. I am dedicating myself to environmental injustice and sustainability, whether that be environmental engineering, architecture, or even design. With the encouragement of the Boys and Girls Club, I began my architectural career at Los Angeles Harbor College, applying the skills from those classes to the projects I've been in for the Boys and Girls Club. In the exact same way, I will apply the skills from my future profession to the entire community as a whole. My community has been left neglected, but instead of escaping, I am working to improve it. As you drive along this community, remember that because of the support of the Boys and Girls Club, I will continue to fight and advocate for the future generations to live in a different environment than what I had to live in. Thank you for your time.